Hello everyone, it's Xenia here and today I'm back to the Altenu YouTube channel and blog with a really fun layout to share with you. For this layout I'm using one of my uh, favorite stamp sets for the latest, from the latest releases and this is the Floral Art stamp set. It features some really really beautiful floral images and it has some a couple of like detailed uh, solid images for coloring but the result you get is not realistic it's very artsy and I absolutely love that so I started by stamping just the outline of a couple of the flower images that are included in this set and I stamped them using the Altenew permanent uh, black crisp ink because I'm planning to do some water coloring so once all my images were stamped, it's time to color them. I picked the Altenew watercolor palette. This is a medium size and it's perfect if you want to smush down some inks and, you know, have some fun mixing colors. So I used a couple of Altenew crisp dye ink colors in pinks, reds and oranges. And by the way, all the ink colors will be mentioned in the blog post. Uh, you can get an impression, an idea here. I don't think you can actually read all the colors, but you can just pick your favorites, uh, pinks and reds and oranges. The specific colors don't matter that much because, you know, there will be some color mixing happening. We won't go for very clear colors. So, you know, you don't need to be very specific if you don't have a specific pink and you have a different Altenew pink. That works perfectly as well. So at first I added like a base layer of color with my paintbrush and I played around with different colors. I didn't do like a solid impression. So you see here I'm mixing some yellow, some orange and I will move to the reds and pinks. And I did that for all the flowers and stamped. I just laid a very light initial layer of color. And don't fuss too much about it, it doesn't have to be perfect because the next step is that I cut out all the flowers and I smushed some watercolors on this palette. So I used my Altenew uh, pan set of watercolors and I added some color here and there. And again I went for pinks and oranges and reds and I just smushed them on the palette and then I just dipped the flower images right in the color to create like a messy look and they look really really well in the end you will see uh, once everything was dry once again I cut them out using my mini blossom die cutting machine and all my flower embellishments are ready to go so it's time to assemble the layout the first thing I did was to cut out a strip of coral cardstock and stick it on the side. I think it is a really nice pop of color and I generally wanted to go for a linear arrangement for my flowers so I think that this really complements the design. You can skip this step but I really think that a piece of cardstock really makes this design pop. Now before I start adhering things down and committing to anything I wanted to take my flowers out and kind of uh, eyeball the design, um, start like decide where I want everything to go. So I place things on the page without adhering them yet. And I will still not adhere them to the background, but I will adhere the clusters together. So when there is an overlap between my flowers, I'm going to add a little bit of glue so that these uh, floral arrangements will stay in place and I can easily recreate this, uh, this whole design without adding too many things. And you see what I mean in a second because I will go ahead and remove these images because I want to do a little bit more stamping for this design. So here I'm also adding the smaller floral images that I stamp and colored and I think this is pretty much uh, the design I will go for. So I'm gonna pull all the pieces aside and you see I keep them in the right direction so I won't forget how it was. And then I'm using another stamp set I absolutely love. This is the Floral Shadow stamp set 
and I am stamping it with some warm gray ink over the white cardstock and I'm using Coral Berry to stamp some images on my coral side of the page and again you don't need to be very precise on the placement because some of it will be hidden I wanted to place my stamping on uh, in a way that the floral clusters on top of it will cover the edges and it will look like it's peeking from behind and just adhering these pieces down and committing to the final design and this is basically um, the most part of the process this is uh, the final design and all we need to do is add some little final touches and I decided to actually add these black leaves these are also from the floral art stamp set and I thought these like black leaves will add a little bit of contrast and complement the whole design so I ended up using them as well and now it's this time to add a title and a photo and that will finish off the design basically so if you want to see some more close-ups of this and a full list of supplies and you know links to grab them all the information are on the altitude blog so make sure to check it out and i really really hope you will enjoy making a layout like this because it's a really fun design even if you're into cards you can totally recreate this design in a smaller scale onto a card base and add your sentiment and it will be like super cool so thank you so much for stopping by i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again next time until then happy crafting <laughs>